Tonight on the driving test, it's double trouble oh. when twins go head to head. I just want to smash them down. Oh. Oh. One, let's go, let's do this. And a test goes to the dogs. <laughs> as a learner fears the worst. I always felt like I wanted to cry. In 13 years as a driving instructor, action man Scott has come up against some pretty tricky situations and he knows how to deal with them. You've got to be firm, you've got to tell them how it's done and it's like, if you want your licence, you've got to do it this way. But Scott's about to face a whole new challenge, <laughs> the battle of the twins. With their test around the corner, things could get nasty as these brothers go toe to toe to get their licence. Morning, boys. Hello, hello, jump in, jump in. I'm guessing you're the twins, eh? Yep. yep. Who's the oldest? This one here. You are. Apparently he's the best driver here. Oh. All right, well, before we hit the road, we'll just do like two or three stop starts. You can do that without stalling. Yeah, hopefully like not. <laughs> You'd be quiet back there. <laughs> With the competition heating up before he's even in gear, Xavier's desperate for a good start. A couple of metres forward if you can. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> the person at the back just gave me so much crap about it. All right, we'll All right. try again, we'll try again. All right. Oh! <laughs> I thought he was the best. Quinn's like, yes, he's got two stalls. And then in the second try, I'm like, no. Nah. Will he stall? Will he stall? Please. Oh, oh, yeah. After a wobbly start, can Xavier's clutch control handle the next hurdle? We're going to do our first hill start together, so I'm not king about this. <laughs> All right, Sun roll. Oh, nailed it. It was definitely a 10. 10 out of 10. I'm actually pretty happy with myself now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait, you drive. <laughs> As the competition right. ramps up, next to the car. can Xavier keep things out of the gutter? To be honest, I'm really good at reversing, but not parking. You have to at the curb? <laughs> yep. As his brother watches his every move, Xavier's gunning for the perfect park. This is intense. Oh, 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 there it is, there it is. Keen to learn from his brother's mistakes. Quinn, you're up, mate. Quinn is ready to take the upper hand in this sibling rivalry. I'm here to beat Xavier, and I just want to smash him down. My brother wants to be a better driver than me. Let's go. Let's do this. Netballer Sophie plans to shoot a goal in her driving test. I'm doing my test today, and I'm feeling pretty nervous. I'm most nervous about crashing. Hi, Mark. How are you? Hello, Miss Sophie. How are you? Good, thank you. It's always good. Your number is 16887. Ready? I think so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sophie, a nice young lady. Although in the car at the first, like, three or four minutes, you could see that she was extremely nervous. So when you're ready? All right. Should we go for a drive? I think so. It's too late to hesitate now. There's 45 minutes to aim straight towards a win. So you want to go straight? Yeah, keep going straight. Being a fraction too slow a lot of the time. But I understand why she was terrified of actually going over the speed limit. You can cause a problem if you're going too slow because other people do some very strange things because they get frustrated with the speed you're going at. I just keep saying to myself, like, calm down, you have to do this, be confident. Sophie's using all her sports coaching skills to stay in the zone. At the end of the road, we're going to find somewhere to pull over for us to do a three-point turn. Do the first turn really nicely, steering's really good and then she puts the indicator on the wrong way. And as she starts to move and turn the steering wheel, the indicator turns itself off. She puts it back on again, the wrong way. And for the third time, she puts it on. Sophie's starting to panic, and it's tripping her up. And then as soon as she started to steer, it went off again. 
I think she gave up at that point. <laughs> oh, I think that was a fail. And very quickly, we went into the reverse parallel parking. Given a, a real choice, I wouldn't have done it as quick because if the mistake she made on a three-point turn may well have affected her. But there is no choice. The reverse parallel park is a crucial part of the test. Sophie has to focus and get this right. As I went back, I was very scared I was going to hit the gutter. The nerves really got to me then. My heart was beating so fast. OK, if you've finished, we will um, drive off again then, please. Mark's not giving anything away, and Sophie's fearing the worst. That's it. All right, make the car safe. So I'm sitting there in the car, my hands are cold, and I'm just so nervous sitting there shaking. So I've got some working out to do, some mathematics. Because I'm old and decrepit, that takes a while. Like, I thought I failed. I really did, and I, I was, felt like I didn't, wanted to cry. Turns, Competitive twins Quinn and Xavier are in a battle. Quinn, you're up, mate. To oh, see God. who's I'm king of the road. I'm here to beat Xavier, and I just want to smash him down. After Xavier had a mixed first lesson, it's over to Quinn to prove he's made of the right stuff. Jumping, My brother wants to be a better driver than me. Let's go. Let's do this. Game on. Oh, all right. <laughs> It's on like Donkey Kong. All right. <laughs> my goal is like to not store and style like my brother. All right, and slow. Oh, oh he's drawing hard. He's a good one. Well, oh, you're so bad. I'm going straight to the lights because you haven't stalled yet. All right, moment of truth. Quiet, please. <laughs> Give me a drum roll. No. Stop. Well done, Quinn. <laughs> well done. Zero stall so Swag. far. <laughs> he hasn't stalled yet, so oh. all that. Who's the better driver? Because, you know... Quinn might be winning the war on clutch control, but the real test is the reverse parallel park. Try not to hit the curb or stall. Otherwise, Xavier will let you know all about it. Now, it. <clears throat> Any comments, Xavier? Be honest, I'm very upset. <laughs> the lesson's not over yet, mate. <laughs> Nothing spells trouble for a learner driver like a touch of overconfidence. All right, then we can stop here. There it is! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Xavier's psyched The Quinn's lesson keeps hitting trouble. Oh, that sounds bad. Quinn needs to curb his enthusiasm before it's too late. Oh, oh, one no. cap. With the scores evening up and the test just around the corner, it's game on. Well done. Thanks, man. Cheers, boys. Thanking you, eh? Thank you, Scott. Well done. Thanks for not scaring me too much, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if I had to put the finger on who is the better driver, no. better than you. No, that's that's Scott's judge. No, I'd have to say Quinn. Bye. A little bit. <laughs> With the test looming, the battle begins. It's test day for 16-year-old twins Xavier and Quinn. But this time, they're driving solo. Xavier is up first, and he's feeling the pressure to perform. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm Melissa. Xavier. Hi, Xavier. Ready for your driving test today? Yes. Look a little nervous? Yeah, I'm very nervous. And with good reason. During his lesson with twin Quinn, a little sibling rivalry got the better of him. Oh, yeah. oh, there it is. This is test sheet number 18768. So relax as much as you can. OK, so when it is safe, we're going to reverse off. As his 45-minute test starts, Xavier is a nervous wreck. He wasn't really breathing, I don't think. They just had to settle those nerves. Just try and relax, just on the drive. If learners can't get on top of their nerves, errors can start creeping in. When you are going around those parked cars, you do need to indicate. So he missed a point there for not indicating. He just needs to relax, otherwise he's not going to get through. He's going to let his nerves cause something wrong on the test. 
He came in too fast. It was just too quick. He had to calm down. With 15 minutes to go, Xavier's nerves are moving him into the danger zone. What's the speed? 60 at the moment. I was praying that he just calm down, believe in himself, and let's get, get this done. Almost done. Xavier finally settles into the test. Just five minutes to go. He was doing excellent, and I knew he could have this in the bag if he just keeps driving well. But we had one more manoeuvre to do. Down on points, Xavier's reverse park needs to be perfect. I was just thinking, don't want to stuff it up, don't want to stuff it up, don't, just don't. He was turning and he was getting close. And if he doesn't stop or do something about this, he could easily touch the curb and not pass. Sixteen-year-old Sophie is hanging on for her test results. Examiner Mark's cool approach is sheer torture. Oh, um, I was felt like I wanted to cry. The three-point turn, you were indicating the wrong way, which is why it kept going off. You kept but still kept putting it back on the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> and. Speed management was a bit lacking because you were terrified of going too fast. Mm. So we ended up going too slow, mm. which can be dangerous in its own right. I said that if I go over like by one, I can yeah, fail. Yeah, you can. But you can also fail for going too slow. Looking at this. Um, No, actually, you passed. Congratulations. Are you sure? Yes, I'm absolutely positive. <laughs> I checked it five times. Oh my Sign God, there to you. say that I've told you the result. I feel like crying. <laughs> Don't cry. You're missing my car. All right, well done. Drive safely. I was quite impressed with the way she drove, especially after she made mistakes, because she didn't allow it to get to her. Oh, I'm so <laughs> overwhelmed and happy, yeah. Like, I just went a bit slow. But other than that, it's it. That's all, really. <laughs> yeah! After a shaky start and less than five minutes on the clock, Xavier can't afford any slip-ups with the reverse park. He's getting closer and closer, and if he doesn't stop or do something about this, he could easily touch the curb and not pass. In Xavier's lesson, the reverse park was all fun and games, but now this is serious. He pushed that boundary. He was really close. Yeah, so that's good. And then when it is safe and you're ready, we're going to pull back out. Xavier is rattled by his close call. And then we'll go left. He wants his licence and to beat his brother. I could see the doubt on his face. He was so worried that he hasn't passed. And I just need to tally this up. Um, so with your drive, there was just a couple of mistakes, and we turned left at the traffic light. Your position wasn't perfect. You know yeah. how you went wide and you slowed yeah, back. Yeah, I went too yeah. fast. Yeah, and so then there was. Do you lose points? Oh, yeah. So driving too fast is a hazard. There was also if you're going around a parked yeah. car and you have to go on the other side of the road, you should indicate. Um, she said a couple of negative things about it. I just feel real, real down. It's just end of the world for me. With today your result, you did it. You passed. Really? Well done. Yeah, Thank you, you did really good. So you got 96%. Really? Yep. So you got your license. Now your brother has got a lot of pressure on him. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Take care. See ya. And Xavier can't wait to share the news with mum and brother Quinn. How's it go? Nine, 96%. Wow. Oh. My brother you know, hopefully gets 95. Proud of you. I want to, you know, get the, the top. Pass. Woo! Step forward, brother Quinn. He's determined to go one better. My brother's got 96%. I want to have 97% so I can just tell him, like, beat that. Who will win in this battle of the twins? Ready for your driving test? Yes, I am. Yeah. 
16-year-old student, Zach, held his learners for just six months. He's so keen to get his licence, he skipped school for it. I actually had to miss a math test, so I don't know how happy my teachers were about that. Today on his test, Zach will sure be happy if his scores add up to a pass. But that's all down to examiner Melissa. This is test sheet number 15555. It's a bit kind of hard to take in everything at the moment. It's a bit nerve-wracking, like, am I going to get it, am I not? Zach will need to put those thoughts to the back of his mind if he wants to survive the next 45 minutes. And at the exit, we're going left. I was quite nervous, actually, just getting out of the car park. It was like, oh, I don't want to do anything wrong. We'll pull over just past the white vehicle, yep. just anywhere to the left where it's safe. And this is where we'll be doing your first manoeuvre, your three-point zone. So do remember it can be three or five moves. Yeah. I felt that Zach, um, during the test, was a little bit nervous. You could tell that on his three-point turn, his leg was shaking a bit. I thought with that one, he may have stalled, but he pulled through. Yeah, so that's good. And then we'll go to the end, and again, the go left. As the test went on, I felt he built confidence within himself. Zach is halfway through the test, and with his newfound confidence, he attempts to win some brownie points. Mum actually wanted me to originally get lessons with you. Oh, okay. Yep. Because you taught our neighbours to drive, and they had really good things to say, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. But will Zach manage to charm his way through his next manoeuvre? So, along here is where we'll have to do the rest Palo Park. So whenever it is safe and you're ready. Zach's noticed an unexpected hazard that could throw him off the scent. The donut. It looks like Zach's test is about to go to the dogs. There's um, a few shoulder checks that they need to do when they're pulling over for the manoeuvres. Fortunately, today he missed two of those. So just when it is safe and you're ready, we'll pull back out. Having avoided committing a howler on his reverse park... Roundabout, we'll go left. Zach's test is now over. But has he done enough to pass? Up until today, yeah, I was very confident. Now all of a sudden I'm really nervous, you know, really fidgety. With his twin brother passing earlier with 96%, the pressure's on for Quinn to beat Hi. his score. How are you going? Yeah. I finally want to have 97% so I can just tell him, like, oh, I got higher than you, beat that. How are you going? Yeah, good. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm Melissa. I'm Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Ready for your driving test? Yes, I am. Awesome. He seemed quite confident. He didn't look as nervous as his twin did just earlier. Quinn came out on top after the dual lesson with Scott and he's looking to take that winning mindset into his test. OK, and this is test sheet number 18769. So we're going to go for a drive. We're going to make our way to the exit. So we'll just reverse to the left and we'll head out that way. Yep. When Quinn put it in reverse, it wasn't right. He was grinding a bit. He put it in gear, grinded it a bit more. So it wasn't a great start to the test. That's lost a point. Dropping a point within seconds of his 45-minute test sees Quinn lose all confidence with his gear changing. Quinn's poor gear control is not only costing him points, it's seeing him lose focus on the road. Ten minutes in, he's already lost three points. I just don't know how this test is going to go. With the troublesome reverse park looming, Quinn doesn't need any further complications. And when it's safe. Ripping someone's car. I was just like, oh no, what should I do? Should I just reverse and make room for them? I was just so nervous. He just wasn't confident to go when there was a little bit of traffic coming up. And there was one vehicle waiting for a fair while. They're waiting. When you're doing a manoeuvre, sometimes it's just safer to continue. Otherwise, you might put yourself in a bad situation. With his nerves shredded, Quinn needs a perfect park to get his test back on track. When I did it, I was like, wow, that was pretty good. 
Yeah, I pretty much smash that out. And then we'll go to the end. With only 10 minutes to go, Quinn is driving well and full of confidence. He just has to avoid any silly mistakes for the final part of his test. And then the first roundabout will go straight ahead. But as he enters the roundabout, Quinn has no idea about the tight turn ahead. Just as we exited the roundabout, he came extremely close to the kerb. Any intervention is an immediate fail. I was looking out the window, I thought, if you don't move over, I'm going to grab that steering wheel. Zach's test over. He's about to find out whether his driving status will go from zero to hero. Up until today, yeah, I was very confident. Now all of a sudden I'm really nervous, you know, really fidgety. Okay. Um, unfortunately, you missed two shoulder checks, okay? Um, and that was when you were pulling over to do your manoeuvres. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you just got to watch that ensure there's nothing coming up the inside while you come over. So, yeah. okay. Just do this. Okay. However, today, you've been successful. <laughs> Congratulations. <Thank> you. <laughs> so you got 94%. 94, yeah. yeah. So 95 plus is an awesome score and you yeah. just won off that. Won so off you that. did, yeah, you did really well. Thank yeah? you very much. I'll see you on the road. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. Before Zach heads back to school to brag to his mates, there's a more important person waiting to hear the news. <laughs> got it! <him. laughs> <laughs> 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 That's great. I didn't know I was actually so nervous until you just until you told me. I said, "Congratulations." Thank you. Quinn is desperate to match brother Xavier's test pass, but on the home stretch, there's trouble ahead. He came extremely close to the curb. I was looking out the window, I thought, if you don't move over, I'm going to grab that steering wheel. If Melissa has to intervene and stop Quinn mounting the kerb, it will be an instant fail. Just as we exited, he did pull out, pull away from the kerb a little, so luckily I didn't have to grab the wheel. And you can make the car safe. Just need to tally this up, it'll just take me a few moments. Mm -hmm. Um, so just with your driving, your manoeuvres were excellent. You did really good, but especially towards the end, coming out a couple of roundabouts, you're just really close to the curve. You need to be at least a minimum of a metre away. Did your brother let you know how he went? Yeah. Okay. When Mel gave me this look, and I was like, oh no. Well, um, looking at your drive today, unfortunately, yeah. your brother beat you by one point. Oh. So you're still fast, you got 95%. <laughs> well done. Did I give you a heart attack? You did. <laughs> I freaked out. You just gave me this look. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'll see you on the road. Thank you so much. That's all right. Well done. <laughs> You're number one. No, but I don't care anywhere. I've still got my license. At least license. you passed, but I got the highest score, so I'm a better driver. You're a better, better driver. twin, better driver. Xavier won the competition, but who cares? I've still got my license.